Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Amy and today I wanted to do an updated review of my Spring Street. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me post this on sale at one point before but since it didn't sell, then I just kept it in my wardrobe especially after I saw Karis and Jerusha. Hi babes if you're watching unbox theirs and I'm like okay well now I have to keep it right because if, if they have it then I must have it too no I'm just joking um I actually do like this bag but I knew I was gonna not wear it that often which is true I have worn it two days maybe but one full day at a party and then the second time was I just wore it because I feel like I have to wear it so that I can rotate it right um but um that's why so ever since then i decided that it's gonna stay in my collection at least for the time being with the spring street it's not so much that it's a seasonal bag but more so that it's very dressy looking so it doesn't always work with my outfit um so i feel like with this bag i have to dress up like i have to because it's so shiny it's so pretty and so special uh, the, the design itself looks like a little trunk and that is why i I don't have as many occasions to wear it, but it's in my collection and it's fine. Uh, of course, it comes with the dust bag. You guys have already seen it and it's a beautiful dust bag with uh, extra lining inside, extra microfiber lining inside, which is great because the patent leather actually needs it. Every time you touch it, it leaves fingerprints. Anyway, let's get into it more officially, all the pros and cons. Pros that I can think of is that this bag, price point wise, it's excellent. For an almost all leather bag, I mean, the only parts that's not leather is the handle and one part of the charm and then this little bit here. And then of course on the strap, there's the canvas side and then the other side is leather. Aside from that, this bag is entirely leather. The interior is lined in my favorite lining from LV, which is microfiber and it's in a very dark color it's actually like a black color actually um of course they also come in different colors you can choose the pink i think they have the red the navy those ones will have different uh, coordinating leather color as well as a uh, different lining color another pro that i want to mention is that this bag actually fits a lot i would say that this fits just as much as my gabrielle small size it will fit my sunglasses, it will fit my vlogging camera, it will fit my phone, the usual, so like six key holder. If I want to vlog, I can bring my camera around, I don't have to worry about not having enough space. And even if I was not vlogging, I know that this bag will accommodate that little bit of extra things. I love that about it. It doesn't look like it, but it's a little boxy, it has enough depth, um, it has enough, um, it has a lot of space in it and I like that it's tall enough. Because it's tall enough, you can even put your phone standing up inside. A really good size mini size bag that fits more than your usual mini flop, for example. Another pro is just how pretty this bag looks like. Um, I love the contrasting different materials and texture. You have, you know, the rough texture of the canvas. You have the beautiful epi leather. You have the smooth, very shiny patent leather it's just the whole package and then of course you have this beautiful s lock that's oversized this one is a lot larger than the pochette meets this one another pro with this bag is that you can attach the strap to it so you can use it as a crossbody or shoulder bag or you can attach any other straps that you may have i have the valentino roxid bag that comes with a beautiful almost like snake like chain and i looped it around and it was perfect because i feel like this strap even though it is cool that they included a thick strap, it makes the bag a lot more casual, but then the bag itself is not casual. So it doesn't, mm, it doesn't quite go with it all the time, especially depending on what I'm wearing. If I was dressed up, then it only works if you have a chain strap, like something more dainty. Um, and that's why I love that you have this big D-ring here that you can, um, just attach any kind of strap to it or not you can just use it as is those were all the pros let's talk about a few cons uh one of the major one probably but it's not really an issue for me is the fingerprint issue 
because if you have very sweaty palms or if you do use a lot of hand lotion then you will get fingerprints all over the body of the bag which of course you can always wipe off but it's just a thing that you have to take into consideration with patent bag as well you have to take care of it a little bit different than you would with regular leather so with these kinds of leather you cannot have you know receipts or magazines stuck to it because it will leave that imprint on it of course with the black color it's less obvious but if you go with a lighter color then it's very hard to near impossible to get rid of the stains if you get any of them on it so far i feel like this leather is still pretty durable i don't have to baby this bag because i still feel like the material is still very robust but you will see some wear and tear so i have a little kind of like a really small might not even be showing up very light tiny little dot indented in there it may not even be an indentation but you see it it's like right there and i think it was right there when i bought it and i'm pretty sure it was every single one of these bags that i saw had something just because i don't know maybe when they transported it when they stored it or maybe even the charm if the charm keeps hitting it if it hits enough times or if it hits hard enough it will kind of have that little bit of a ding in it it's very minor this leather is so very robust it doesn't it doesn't show wear very well so that's a good thing i guess but it can be a bad thing if you have a very deep scratch because you're technically scratching onto the plastic surface of the patent leather the other con has to do with this charm here so this charm is amazing as an accessory to make it look really nice looking and aesthetically pleasing but it gets in the way when you get in and out of the bag it's not terrible though but just every time you open it the charms get in the way so you either have to toss it over and then get in your bag and then you know close it but then you have to remember to put it back to the front so the charms themselves can get annoying it's not the worst thing ever but it's something that i've definitely noticed the closure can potentially get scratched pretty easily and extensively depending on how much you end up using the bag especially if you don't aim exactly and i think it's pretty hard to aim exactly unless you're always looking at it from really close to store to close it but normally when you're you know wearing the bag you're not really looking down you're not really looking like at it like that so usually it's pretty hard to aim exactly where the closure is so chances are you will get some scratches on this plate here another con that i want to mention is that if you do fill your bag pretty well like if you stuff it to the point where it's almost hard to close as in you have to push down the flap to close chances are it can sometimes get stuck when your bag is so stuffed it will kind of get in the way of the s-lock getting in place smoothly i don't know how to explain it otherwise but just know that you cannot overstuff this bag otherwise you'll have a hard time opening and closing it the other con is on the strap so while i really appreciate having an extra strap and because you can reuse this strap on other bags i really love that about it but i also find that this strap is very stiff it just feels a bit rigid and so it doesn't lay the nicest on this bag so if you were to use it on this bag that's what i was talking about while it's fun to have an extra strap option and i i like the practicality of it it doesn't quite look the best it kind of just gets twisted and then if you kind of arrange it it doesn't lay super nice you can try doing this i guess i mean this is probably the best it will look this is the best way it will lay it doesn't lay like it just doesn't drape super nice i don't know the best way to do it i mean this is the best i can do you, do you see what i mean so that's why i feel like this bag you either have to put a chain strap to look really dainty and really feminine and elegant uh, or you wear this on your body at all times don't drape it just wear it on your body then you won't notice it as much while this is enough to give you this updated review i feel like it's not long enough to give you a wear and tear review just because i i mean i've had it long enough but just 
it's not my everyday bag and I it's really an occasional bag I guess that's another con I feel like you can wear it every day if you wanted to but for me style wise it's more of an occasional bag it's kind of dressy I do like it a lot I think it's definitely worth it especially if you don't have anything like this in your collection or if you just need something a little bit more dressy in your wardrobe that you can wear also on a daily basis I think this is a great option because it is a very functional bag it is like I said it fits a little bit more than your typical mini size bags and I feel like it's pretty durable of course if you do wear it every day then you'll get more wear and tear and I don't know how that will work out because I personally don't wear it every day but I feel like the patent leather from LV is super durable um, if you look at it really closely it's actually a really shiny it has like a bit of a shimmer on it too so it's a really really pretty material and I, I definitely think that the price is worth it it actually also smells really good too like the patent leather on it and the LV smell of it is very very appealing I was also asked about the white leather on it I'm not worried about it at all because it's inside um, I mean the bottom is the canvas and then this little bit I mean you never really you never really end up having wear and tear on your charms most of the time I think and then the wear and tear probably wouldn't really get inside like because it's indented inside so if you do wear your strap a lot I would say that maybe the wear and tear is mostly on the strap and honestly Ippy leather is so durable I used to own a couple of Ippy leather bags both of them were Almas and they were so durable the only wear and tear on my Ippy leather was that um, it would crease that's all but aside from that I feel like even though this is white it would only just kind of get a little gray maybe I feel like this Ippy leather has a bit of a gray tone to it anyway so I really do not worry about the the leather this bag has such a great price point that you do not have to worry about making a bad decision as long as you love the look of it I feel like you're gonna like it a lot and it's worth the money in my opinion I do not know about the resale value of it though but I have not seen any that was sold on the secondhand market so far I feel like very few people have this bag which is also another pro I guess because you'll be pretty unique in your um, you know in your community when you wear it because not that many people will own it and um, it's a pretty unique looking bag and it looks more expensive than it is I do have my unboxing video of this where I modeled it and um, I did talk about the bag so you can rewatch that especially with the modeling part where you see me wear with different outfits uh, this bag is so pretty especially in when you wear a really nice dress on the day that I went shopping for this or on the day that I went to pick up this I was wearing this beautiful floral maxi dress is like floor length almost it is floor length for me anyway um, and then it's like a sleeveless one and I when I tried on this bag it just went with it so well because of the floral it had a bit of black blue and pink on it and white bouncy dresses and just like really beautiful summer dresses I feel like this bag will look super perfect and of course if you dress a little bit more fancy like you know black tie I, I also think that this will be terrific for that um, but when I dress a little bit more casual then it doesn't look quite as coherent just because the style itself is so structured it's so square it looks more like an evening bag it definitely looks more dressy that's it for this video I hope that you found it helpful if you're brand new to my channel I would love to have you back please do consider subscribing it would be really helpful if you give this video a like and also comment down below to say hi have a great day or week ahead of you and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye!